I'm here today with Fawn Annan, President of IT World Canada. Fawn, the launch of Canadian CIO includes all the things our CIO and vendor audiences have come to expect from IT World Canada. Outstanding content and a focus on community. But for the first time, we're offering a unique service that streamlines the way sellers can interface with prospects. For example, the buyers of information and communications technologies. CIOs across Canada are all trying to do the same thing, create more value to their organization through the strategic use of technology. For them, sourcing ICT products and services is an arduous and time-consuming process, and for sellers of ICT solutions as well. Discovering and engaging on new deals can be a very challenging process, and we're delighted to be able to offer the information and communication technology vendor community a unique solution with our new ICT sourcing platform. I saw a quick overview of this platform and it looks like it could offer the vendor community some real advantages. Give us a thumbnail of what they can expect to see. Simply put, the Canadian CIO ICT sourcing platform matches vendors, solution providers, system integrators, VARs and consultants with pre-qualified business opportunities they would likely not be aware of otherwise. In short, this new platform helps vendors to identify and engage with buyers at the moment of opportunity with an aim to helping them generate new revenue. To understand more about the vendor community benefits from the ICT sourcing platform, I recently spoke with Mark Hall, the partner IT World Canada chose to bring this into the Canadian market. I think CIOs are being more and more um, selective about the kind of partners that they're working with. They're trying to actually reduce the number of, of, of vendors in some cases that they're working with. You know, what will be kind of the biggest benefits for those on the on the vendor side mm -hmm. uh, to participate in this platform to help get them access to CIOs and maybe to business that they wouldn't otherwise get? You know, one of the one of the joys of um, of working in in the platform that, that that we work in is when we get a new sales opportunity. Buyer comes to the market and says, I'm looking for a business intelligent partner who is a reseller of an SAP product or an Oracle product. And um, we're oftentimes, because we're a startup company, we're working with vendors, even though they're in the system, mm -hmm. they don't know they're in the system yet. Yeah. And the joy of calling up um, into a solution partner company and saying, we're working with another uh, company in your area that is doing a business intelligence deployment, it's worth this amount of money, your company's been matched to them and they want you to take a look at the product, uh, at their project and see if you want to entertain it. It is 100% of the time they'll say, now who what now? <laughs> explain it. So who are you? How did you get, you know, how did it, all this happen? You explain what we've done. And um, within 30 seconds we can get them onto the platform because their company's accounts are ready to go, their company's products are, are kind of stubbed out and all of a sudden they're staring at an opportunity and you've got a, a salesperson on the other end of the phone who's staring at an opportunity that says here's a $300,000 deal, here's a full description of the requirements of what they're looking for, here are the products that they're trying to, they're trying to purchase through you, mm -hmm. uh, here's when they're going to make a, time, a decision, and here's who's on the, pro the project team mm -hmm. who they're going to be talking to. There's a, um, a moment of silence where they say this is the most remarkable thing I've ever seen before. Okay, and a lot of what we've done is try to simplify the essentials of what is necessary in an RFP. Mm -hmm. Okay, and boil it down to, to just those essential elements that is going to get you to the point where you're in conversation. You may then develop a, a, sh a shorter RFP process, which is really down to here are the key elements that we're going to need. And I think those are, those are some of the things that, that, uh, that we've tried to do into the site. So, so um, I think long term, if the technology that, is, that, is, that we put into place can help to um, minimize the paperwork, simplify the process, I think that's ultimately where we want to be. Uh, whenever we um, survey the reseller community in Canada, their number one priority is growing their customer base because mm -hmm. they've done as much as they can to kind of work within uh, the customers that they have. Can you give any examples of how um, early adopters of this platform are starting to use it to you know, get business that they may have never had before? When we make that initial outreach to a vendor, when they've been matched to a project, that's typically when they really, that's when their eyes open up and that's when they really get excited. They see the potential of that for their organization. And we've seen um, a number of them, while they're not going to stop doing what they've been doing to grow their customer base, they will really begin to leverage the platform and really build out their profile, for example, to make sure that they're, they're meeting the best needs or they're meeting the, meeting the best projects that are coming through the platform. 
So I've seen them um, take a, a, a very, um, in some cases, in a very aggressive step to really make sure their profile is, is up to date, it's current, it's the best reflection of the company possible. Um, and that's, that's what we want to see. I don't see this necessarily as a replacement for what they're doing, but I see it as a way for them to find, um, again, the best opportunities uh, and best new business uh, deals that you could possibly find. Thank you.